Hey everyone, my name is Tim Stoddard. And in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to generate rankings, traffic, and phone calls to your Google business profile. Let's jump right in. I'm recording this video because I got an email from one of my incubator members. Um, if you're curious as to what that means, go to timstodds.com slash incubator. And the email is as follows from Alicia. Uh, I love this email. Thank you. I'm currently working in freelance marketing and copywriting. Um, I loved your idea about starting a business that niches in on helping businesses set up and optimize their monthly Google My Business profile. So basically, Alicia is thinking about creating an agency. And she asked me if I want to set up a business where I charge every month to optimize a company GMB listing. Are the best services to supply articles, image uploads, video uploads, competition research, getting reviews from clients? I was thinking of charging sixteen hundred a month. Will PP will people pay for a service they can set up for free? How does this work? All right. So with that said, let's dive in to how a Google My Business agency actually works and the services and products that you provide for the customers. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a treat here. I'm going to show you one of my actual companies that I manage. This is Lexington Addiction Center. As many of you guys know, I've been involved in the behavioral health industry for quite some time. And I'm just going to use them as an example to show you exactly how you do it. The first step is you get an admin on the Google My Business profile. I'm not going to actually show you it because there's other emails in this account, but you would go here. Whoever sets up the account would go to the business profile settings and then click this people in access. And then you would get an admin on the account. When you're an admin on the Google, my business account, the back end of the Google business profile, the GBP is on Google, right? So like you, you see the back end information directly on Google as you're looking at the profile. So here are the things that you do. The first step is you edit the profile. What you want to do is make sure you put some keywords in the description. So we are trying to rank this profile for drug rehab, Lexington, Kentucky, addiction treatment, Lexington, Kentucky, alcohol rehab, Lexington, Kentucky. And so you can see rehab, Lexington, Kentucky, rehab process. Um, You don't want to overkill it here because this is one of the smaller ranking factors. Um, but you definitely want to put the business category in. So basically the way it works is Google will identify your primary category, will identify your secondary categories, and then sort of cross-reference that with some of the keywords that you put in the description to just get a really good understanding as to what your business is about. After that, photos. Photos are so, so important and especially experiential photos. So the way I like to think of adding photos is just pretend your business is a restaurant. The most relatable exercise for people to understand is when everybody is like in a new city, or even if you're looking for a restaurant in your own neighborhood, what's the first thing you do? You you look at pictures, you check out the ambiance, you look at pictures of the food. The same thing applies for Google My Business. You want them to understand what the experience is going to be like. Um, Honestly, after I'm looking at this, I could do a better job here because you also want to put smiling faces. It's so, so important. If I were to look at the analytics on all of these pictures, you would see the pictures that have the smiling faces have like three times as many clicks on them as people are browsing um, this, as they're browsing the actual facility itself. Then of course there's services and the services are really important because there's a big difference between products and services. And this, this next section isn't gonna pertain to every client that you're managing, but it's gonna pertain to a lot of them. Google business profile, I I keep calling it GMB because I'm old school. Um, The GBP is built for retailers mostly. That's who they have in mind. So if I'm a coffee shop or if I'm um, I'm selling like consignment clothing, this section right here, these products is going to give me an opportunity to display the actual products. There's a bakery down the street that I love to take my kids when they're when they're doing good for the day, right? We we get a macaroon, we get like a little surprise. And if I'm that bakery, I'm displaying all of my products right here. But if you're handling a service business, 
then there's no actual products for you to display. Like, what am I going to do? Make a product out of drug rehab? No. And so what you do is you cross-reference the cornerstone pages that are created on the website. You do a really good job with these pages. And then you list those pages, those services as the products. And this is very, very important because if you're looking to build a Google business profile agency, um, one of the most important things that you have to do that people don't appreciate is actually work on the website as well for two reasons, the domain authority of the website, the strength of the website, right? So this is a, a DA of 32, at least in terms of how Ahrefs sees it. Um, and the content on the website is really going to be taken into consideration as Google is deciding which businesses to list at the top, right? And so the website link and listing your services as their products. But that also means listing the services in the back end. So this section right here, services, these are keywords that Google is using. These aren't going to be displayed right here for the people who are actually like looking at the listing, but you still need to add that content in there. But the products on the other hand will be. So it's very simple. You just paste a link in here and then it automatically display, displays and you can you know create the, the picture. So like I said, if you are working with like an actual physical product company, these are going to be products that, that you would list, whether it's a cup of coffee or a macaroon or a t-shirt or whatever. Um, but for a lot of service businesses, you know, like if you're a mechanic, while well, you're creating service pages, like we do here of the actual services that they offer and then listing them as their products. So it's slightly abstract, but not really. <clears throat> um, lastly, this is probably the most important thing that you manage. We use a company called Zoho. It's pretty expensive. It's one of the more expensive of the options, but Zoho makes it very easy for, um, what's the specific product that we use? I, I can't remember, but in Zoho, um, it, it really helps automate the process. So you need to work with the client a little bit, but you and the client will create a system so that as a customer finishes their experience with the business, well, they get put into the database and then you can automatically send them emails and text messages to get five-star reviews. Uh, okay. Lastly, that's basically what you're doing on the, the business itself. And yes, to answer those questions, somebody will pay you to do this. Absolutely. Um, I don't take on a Google, my business account for less than 2,500 a month. And these are like super, super profitable. Okay. So what does that look like in the back end? Well, <clears throat> this right here is where you're going to be managing a lot of the work. This is bright local. Um, it's an amazing product. It's so good. Like they do such a good job. It takes a little bit to learn how to use, but once you figure out how to use bright local, you'll build your whole agency in here. So if I were to click on all locations, you would basically see all the companies that I manage and you would get like a dashboard of all the companies. I'm not going to show you that just, you know, for obvious privacy reasons, I've already kind of decided to let you in the back end of Lexington Addiction Center. Um, but he here's all the tools that you use. So this tool is great because it gives you three things. It allows you to post, to schedule your posts. So yes, these posts right here do really matter. Um, I only schedule one a week. Google business profile is not quite like a Facebook. You know, it's not as though there's a social media feed per se, but it does kind of act like a social media profile in that you can post content and this post this content will get shared on the front end. And it's just a really good signal for the profile in general. Like Google wants to see this. And so you can schedule all of it in here. This citation builder and the citation tracker. So citations are sort of like backlinks, but for business profiles. So even if you have a website and like you get mentioned, that's technically a citation. But what this does is they have a service that they go and get the citations for you. So they have a whole directory of other directories. And then they list your business on things like Yelp or, you know, there's like local business directories that they find. I think like bestbusinesses.com is still a pretty big one. And they can do all of that for you. And then the really cool thing is that this will give you a bird's eye view of where you are ranking in the local pack for the, the particular keywords that you're ranking for. So this is a bird's eye view of Lexington, Kentucky. 
And, you know, one of the benefits that we have is that our actual facility is right smack dab in the middle of the city. So it kind of gives us this like perfect little radius of the city itself. And then as you search for different keywords, you can see the, the different things that you're ranking for, you know, so we're having a lot of success with this. This is a very, very helpful tool because it allows you to kind of systematically generate rankings for each one of these quarter mile grids, I would say. And it's really helpful. So look, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video because the fact of the matter is in order to get good at managing Google business profiles, you have to just do it and you have to learn and create your own systems. But I wanted to make this video because I've seen a few people like with a little skepticism and apprehension saying, well, why would anybody pay me to manage the Google business profile for them when they could just do it themselves? And how much are they willing to pay? I am telling you the amount that, that this company pays me in order to manage the Google business profile is leaps and bounds uh, worth it for them. The fee, even though it's a large fee in relation to the market, just because I'm good at this, I can charge large fees. The fee that they page is still minuscule in compared to the return that they get on it. The reason why Google business profiles are just so valuable is because all of us are so used to pulling out our phone anytime we have a question. And if we're looking for something and just going like restaurants near me, mechanics near me, you know, I'm, I'm, I just uh, got a phone call from a glass company because we needed a new shower door, right? So what did I do? I typed in like shower door company in Denver and that's how I found the company. Um, it is absolutely worth it. You should totally do it. And if you just follow like these really, really simple steps, like this simple criteria, you'll generate results for your clients and they'll stay with you forever because they don't want to do it themselves. They just want to worry about the business. They want to sell the cookies, right? Like they want to make cookies. They don't want to worry about posting all of this shit on the internet. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I kept this one pretty high level. I can go into a lot more detail if you wish. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I will definitely answer them. Please smash that subscribe button and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.